I can do it. Me diseñé un traje especial para el evento de Barbie en México. Me inspiré en el icónico Corvette rosa de la muñeca. Para la estructura me basé en los trajes de NASCAR e hice este boceto para guiarme. Utilicé esta tela rosa brillante que ya venía capitonada. Realmente la estructura es muy simple ya que es como un mameluco, solo hay que cuidar los detalles, pero creo que quedó bastante bien. Hice mis propias versiones de plástico de los parches y logos que normalmente vemos en los trajes de corredores de autos. Hay muchas estrellas porque mi mayor inspiración es el Starbet de los 80s. A mi amigo David Alegre se le ocurrieron estas pulseras y las hice de la misma forma que hice los logos. También edité estas gafas agregándole un par de elementos que las dejaron completamente de juguete. Todas las piezas las fui pegando directamente sobre el traje utilizando cola loca mezclada con bicarbonato. La verdad hay que tener bastante cuidado para que no se vaya a escurrir el pegamento sobre la tela. Al final el resultado me gustó bastante, realmente parece un traje de juguete gigante. Todos los pequeños detalles lo elevaron bastante. Y así es como me veo con el traje ya puesto. El cinturón me quedó un poco grande, pero creo que no hay tanto problema. En los pies voy a utilizar los Ambush de Nike rosas y solo faltaría peinarme, pero este sería el resultado final. Something's in my ass Halloween costumes I better not see this year. I'm gonna need y'all bitches to stop fucking wearing this shit. Stop it. I'm wearing this shit too fucking much. It's been almost 10 years since the movie came out. Put the shit back. So dirty ass LED masks that don't even light up anymore.
So, you've been with women in bed? I know. Shocking, isn't it? You see, sweetness, men are only good for one thing. Women are good for six. Six? Which six? Stop it. You're confusing her. And me. Let's get it nice like this, I'm a night like this Sword in my hand, I fight like this And I'm more than a man, I'm a god Here's the story time on how my Halloween costume ended up going to a celebrity instead. But to understand this wild journey, we're gonna have to start at the beginning. A few weeks ago, I decided to make a Halloween costume of a pop star out of 42 Diet Coke cans. I'm a full-time cosplayer and I make a lot of serious builds, so I thought that this would be funny and cute. My goal was really only to get Diet Coke to see this because I love them so much. And you guys tag them thousands of times. And I think it's important to note that I'm literally just some girl from Canada. Like, I'm not a brand, I'm not a store, and I was just excited to be noticed at all. So what happens next will take you on a journey. I had a delivery at the front desk and it had a card with my name on it and it was very heavy. Diet Coke had sent me eight cases of Diet Coke to finish my costume and this amazing letter that I feel like framing. You can pause to read it. Then it happened. The corset blew up on Instagram and got over 7 million views and it caught the attention of a celebrity stylist. So I installed my very first name tag. I cried like a baby doing this. It just felt like the start of something. Like maybe it's my time. Packed it up in the exact same box that Coke sent me. Made my way to FedEx and got confirmation it arrived on set. I know you guys are asking who, but I do not want to open my big mouth and jinx it before I know it was 100% used. But when I do, I will tell you. I just want to say Diet Coke. I'm so sorry I didn't finish my costume, but it went to somewhere way cooler. And this is your sign to make weird shit. M-O-N-S-T-E-R Monsters, monsters, yes we are. Monster, monster, hey, monster, hey. I'll show you the entire truth. The night I left you, I did everything Tonzo and Toby told you I did. And whatever you do from here on out, know this. No matter what, I will love you always. Mirabe! Mirabe! I don't know. I'm a psycho. I'm a psycho.